Hey y'all, so I figured I'd come on here and do a quick haul, as y'all can tell by the title. I just came from um, Target and I went to TJ Maxx. I went in Target for one thing and came out with, I think, $50 worth of stuff. And when y'all see what I got, y'all gonna be like, how? I feel like every time I go in Target, if I just go for one thing, if especially if I'm not going in there with a budget mindset, I come out with so much more. <laughs> and I'll be looking at my bank account like, why? Um, so anyway, I figured I'd show y'all what I got. I just got a few things. Alright, so the first thing that I got on the list are these countertop wipes. I like these to just spray, um, just some like all-purpose spray on the countertops and just wipe them down. Um, when I'm leaving for work or when I'm leaving for the house, I just like stuff to be like kind of still clean. So I'll use these, um to wipe things down they were only 94 cent and then honestly i went in tj maxx and they had a set of like 50 for like 10 dollars and i started to take these back and get these those instead um but if you were ever looking for like something to just wipe your area down and it don't even have to be in the kitchen it could be on like glass or um i use it on my wood bookshelf um these are really good and inexpensive Next, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm shopping, I always need stuff to snack on. Um, and so, and the crazy thing is, when I get the stuff to snack on, like, I'm snacking on it while I'm shopping. I always pay for it, though, but I'm snacking on it while I'm shopping. So, what I got was these, if y'all hear that tapping, that's Caleb going back and forth, back and forth, because he just wanted me in the camera, don't you? Get up here. Come on. Get up there. Come. Go. Get up there. Sit down. Anyway, so... I got these bark fans, um, this dark chocolate, dark dark chocolate pretzel with sea salt, and they, this is my first time trying trying them, and they were actually pretty good. Um, not too bad of a snack. I mean, it's dark chocolate, so I'm just like, okay, that helped a little bit, but it probably it's still not healthy, but it definitely satisfied my need to snack while I shop. So I did get these. The next thing I got. So the next two things I got. I am trying my hardest to be a plant mom. I've been trying to be a plant mom for like years. And it's like I kind of succeed, but I don't. I still have like low maintenance plants that don't require nothing I can keep alive. But things like this, this one is actually not bad because it's a peace lily. It will let me know when I need to water it. But I have three plants and they were all dying at the same time. And I'm like, what did I do to y'all? Like y'all were fine. So I've just been learning to nurse my plants back to health, be a good plant mom, really invest in them. I've started to buy fertilizer and food and all type of stuff just so that they can flourish. Because I like the look and feel of plants in the house, especially flowers. Like, I always try to have fresh, fresh flowers. I'm not a girly girl, but I love flowers. Like, I love the way they smell. I love, I love the way they look. And I just like to have the fresh ones. Um, it's nice to have the fake ones too because you really don't got to do nothing to them but maybe dust them. Um, but I also like to have the real ones because they're good for the environment. They purify your air. Like, I just love them. So I've been trying to, I say all that to say that I'm trying to be a good plant mom. So what I did was bought some actual gardener scissors because I just be using the regular ones when I like prune, and, prune them and stuff like that. So I'm like, let me get some real ones. They had this in their little dollar section when you first come in. Um, it was $5, but I thought it was cute. Um, just something that's necessary because you always have to prune your plant. So I figured I'd get this. And then I also got me a water pot. I have been looking for a cute, stylish one. I think the one that I do have, I got it like Walmart. And it's like big, clunky, and ugly. So I seen this one and I was like, this is perfect how much was this this was also on that dollar section um and it is seven dollars so i like i feel like when i have nice looking stuff it makes me want to be like a better plant mom i guess i don't know if that makes sense but i got that so the next thing that i got um is i'm big on like my house smelling good i like it to smell a certain way Right now, it still smells like new house, surprisingly. I've been in here for a year and a few months. Um, but every time I come in here, it doesn't smell like me. It smells like still a new house. So, I love candles. I am a big candle girl. Y'all know that. Um, I like to burn, like, sage and stuff like that. 
um and then incense i haven't burnt incense in a while so i actually seen these in target um it's called the neroli yanglang eucalyptus and it's an incense burner set i don't know if y'all can see it so they had one that was open and i thought it was pretty cute it comes with the actual burner oops and it's nice and, and heavy too the actual burner not the burner but the where, where you can set the um incense on and then they have 50 it's a set of 50 incense i'm about to burn one now oh this is so cute let's see hold on y'all And if y'all wondering where I got this from, I got it from Amazon. Y'all can see. I think it's so cute. It's just battery charged. Um, but I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like $16. Way better than the Flicker ones. Um, but I think it's cute. I think it's really cute. I'll let that burn. See how it smells. Okay, and then the last thing that I got. Um, for candle scents, I like a really like manly deep smell i don't like fruity stuff i don't like the smell of like foods like some you know how some candles will be like cakes or cookies or i don't like that unless it's lemon i do like a lemon smelling candle and i usually always keep that in the kitchen um but for the most part i like really deep warm musky type manly scents so i seen this in target like two trips ago it's called Nior and musk room spray and i had sprayed it just to see what it would smell like and um i just sprayed it once and while i was walking around the whole entire store i just kept smelling it and i'm like for it's 7.99 and i'm like that might be too much just for a room spray but i'm like the fact that the, sh the smell lingers that long i'm like I think I want to buy it. So I went and bought it this time. And y'all, when I say it smells so good, like it smells. Oh, mm, it smells like a man. I just love like, I love manly smells. Like it smells exactly like a man. So I am definitely going to get my use out of that because it smells so good. I probably like spray it in the bed. Like when I get up and, um, before I lay down at night, but it smells so good. So, um, the last thing that I got from Target was this Swiffer Duster. So, I have noticed that the older I become, the more I do not care about, like, material things, like clothes and shoes and purses. Like, don't get me wrong, I still like fashion. I love fashion and I love nice clothes. But if I have a choice to spend my money on clothes and shoes and, like, stuff like that, or like house stuff, I will pick house stuff any day. Like for my birthday, I requested that I get a um a wood floor steamer. And if I get that, I am going to be <laughs> so happy just to use it. Like I get excited over stuff like that. Like I bought a Dyson vacuum and I'm like, and that vacuum is not cheap. But I'm like, I want to invest in like cleaning stuff. And I'm like, who am I becoming? Like what I cared about. 10 20 even like five years ago i could absolutely care less now like don't get me wrong i do still buy clothes y'all seen my little zara haul and that's because i said i was not gonna be a bum in 2020 so i needed to invest in key pieces that i'll continue to wear but other than that i don't really buy clothes and shoes like that i buy stuff for my house and even if my house was furnished i still feel like i would just be always looking for new gadgets and things like that so i said all that to say that I got the Swiffer because it is time for me to clean around my baseboards. So I looked up online how often you should clean your baseboards. And they said every time you vacuum. And I vacuum every day because I have a dog. I would not be one of those dog people who house smell like dog, look like dog, dog hair everywhere. Not happening. So I literally vacuum almost every single day. Um, but I don't do my baseboards. And they're starting to get dusty and i can't have none of that so i looked up online like the best the easiest ways to clean them and they said to get a swiffer or if they're really dirty to just get like um this special type of cleaning solution but mines aren't really dirty they just need to be dusted so i'm hoping that this works 
um because i'm looking forward to it i just can't i hate especially in the high traffic areas i see a lot more build up around the baseboards and that's not something i grew up learning how to clean like we were clean but you know who i watched this girl called nadia her channel was called style by casting over check her out she's like an interior designer when i say she is clean she is clean clean like i thought i was clean but she is clean clean and she was the one who got me thinking about like baseboards and i'm just like damn i never even really thought to clean them i don't know like that's so weird anyway so that's all i got from target all right y'all so let's start with the food stuff again i don't know why i feel like every store that i go into i have to snack and shop <laughs> it's ridiculous um but i end up getting these mango habanero um kettle chips and when i tell y'all these are so good this is my first time having them it's like a perfect mix mixture of like tangy and sweet like they are so good i had to literally tell myself to stop eating like this is how much i got left and i literally just bought these today like i could not stop eating them they are so good you know um home goods tj maxx marshall's all them stores they really be coming in clutch for the like semi healthy snacks. Um, so I definitely will be repurchasing these. Um, they are so good. If y'all see them in the store, what's the brand called? Deep River Snacks. If y'all see these, try these. Like, I think you would really like them if you like sweet and sour type stuff or sweet and um, tangy type stuff. They actually remind me of like if you're from Detroit, the Lay's, I mean, the Better Made um, barbecue chips. Or the, um, ah, what was that bag of chips called? It's like in a black, red, and white bag. I forgot what they called. Maybe they like call honey something. I don't know, but they remind me of those. If you're from Detroit, I'm going to try to find a picture of them. If you're from Detroit, you know what bag of chips I'm talking about. That's what they remind me of. So next, um, this isn't food. This is, um, I'm a tea person. Like, I love tea. I don't drink coffee at all. It's just not my thing. It always makes my, like, heart race. I just don't like the way that it makes me feel. And generally, because I work night shift, I don't, I'm not really, like, I don't have to be a morning person. Now, if I had to be a morning person, I probably would drink coffee. Or oh, I take that back, because my whole life I usually work mornings and I've never drank it. But I'm not a morning person, so I can see why people drink the coffee to wake them up. Um, but because I wake up, in the evening i'm usually well rested so i don't really need a pick me up i usually just need motivation to go to work because i just don't even want to go um but i say what i to say that i am a tea person i love tea earl gray is my favorite tea um they have like this jamaican tea that i love that my boyfriend introduced me to um and those are the two, basically my two favorite but i'm willing to try any tea so i seen this one and this is a lemon why can't talk this is a lemon ginger and turmeric tea let me see how it smells actually it smells like lemon ginger and turmeric so i'm excited to actually take this i do make a lot of ginger tea um but i'll just what i'll do is either i'll just boil some ginger and do it like that and put some um honey in there or i'll put it with the jamaican ginger tea that i love um so I'm excited to try this. Next, what we have is these glass jars. I am trying to transition out from plastic just because it's better for the environment. Um, and I like the way that these look. I, don't, I actually don't like the way that plastic looks when you put something in there that can like stain it. Like if you put spaghetti in there or something with turmeric and if you don't wash it right away, like it kind of stains the plastic over time. Um, and I feel like with glass, well, with glass, you don't get that. So I've been phasing out from all of my plastic stuff and using glass stuff. And I got these, um, cause y'all know that I meal prep a lot. So I got these. They're all cheaper at, you know, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, those type of stores. It was one for $4.99. But they did have like three and four packs that you could have got. But I just got these two. I think like at Target when I was looking at them because I was going to get them. I think it was like $8.99 for one like this. T Target be taxing for stuff. Like I love Target but they really be trying it with their prices sometimes. Um, so I just got two of these. Um, I love these type of dishes. Easy to clean. Sustainable. Good for the environment. Alright so next what I got. Um, I got this tray set of 
hand wash and lotion i got it for the kitchen but i'm pretty sure it probably should go in like a regular bathroom but i don't think it would be bad to have it in the kitchen um to put like lotion on your hand after you like wash but i got it because of this um what do you call this tray that it sits in um i thought it would be cute on the counter because right now i just have like a regular um just a bottle that's sitting up there but i think this is a lot more fancy and it's the rosemary and bent one i actually didn't even smell it so i don't know if it smelled good i just got it because i like the packaging of it um and i think it would be cute so this was 6.99 and again i got this at tj maxx next up for house stuff i love white sheets um white towels stuff like that i i feel like I've always had, not always, but, well, all of my stuff in my house, like, linen-wise and towels, is all white, with the exception of, like, the kitchen towels and rags. Um, but I went and bought a few more white towels and white rags. I try to phase them out, like, the ones that get, like, dingy and are not as white over time. I'll just use those as, like, towels to, like, maybe dry off Caleb when I give him a bath or do stuff around the house. And I'll replace them with like new towels um, that obviously look better. So it was time for me to get some more rags. Um, and then I just got a few towels. Um, I got them from the Tahiri collection. Their stuff is pretty good. Um, they've held up over time um, of continuously washing them over and over again. And they're not nice and big and thick. I'm a fan of like thick cotton um thick cotton towels is anybody else like a towel person like growing up my mama had a million and one towels like i can remember her just going to the store like all the time just buying towels and i'd be like baby girl like how many towels do you need and now i am becoming my mother like <laughs> i buy towels like i have so many towels like to the point where i probably need to get rid of some and stop using them it's just like stuff to do around the house like i only need a few towels to do stuff around the house and give him a bath but i am really becoming like this homey person like my home is like my sanctuary sanctuary like i don't want to leave here so if that's the case i feel like it should be comforting and i should enjoy it and the vibe should be nice and the vibe is comfy white looking fluffy um towels so i got those all right and then the last oh i was about to say the last thing the third from last thing i got is i seen these um happy stylish mommy i believe is her youtube channel um her name is Shayna, i believe i've just started watching her and i really love her channel go check it out but I see her using these for her son. And they're just reusable um, snack bags. I am a huge snacker. And I waste a lot of sandwich bags. Like the plastic ones. And I told y'all I'm trying to be more sustainable. More green. More good for the environment. So I seen her use these for her son. And I'm like I need to get these. Um, they were $4.99. And it's a set of four. And you can just wash them um they're microwave not microwave safe they're um dishwasher safe but i thought they were cute i thought they were really cute i like the color of them they're a good size like i would put like my almonds and cashews and stuff like that in here um and that's it i like the fact that i can reuse them and i'm not like wasting and throwing stuff away so yeah i got these um next i got stuff for roger I like going shopping more for, like, him than I like going for me. Like, I like dressing guys. Like, that is my thing. Like, if when I have kids, I hope God gives me all boys because I really like to dress guys. So, I end up getting him just a regular casual button-up for, like, when we go to church or if we go out to brunch or something like that. He could just have a nice casual shirt to just throw on with some jeans or some shorts or whatever like that and then the last thing that i got him roger is a country boy he's from jamaica so if you know anything about jamaicans you know the bush and all that so he loves his flip-flops 
Um, but I thought these were cute. They're just some um, regular Tommy Hilfiger brown flip-flops. Um, I feel like they can go with a lot of stuff, especially if it's just like we just going on a casual day out, going downtown to walk the dog, or just going outside to run errands. They're super casual, and they look like they're comfortable. So I just got these for him. So, y'all, that is the end of my haul. That's everything I got. Um... Let me know if y'all want me to do more of these because I feel like I'm always shopping, especially for the house. Um, but I figured I'd just come on here and show y'all what I got really quick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.